Hey, old chaps, only me, John, with you again, and um, I just want to show you where I am up to at this point in time. Right, I'm after getting a lot of the weathering done. Um, I'd say like, what 95% of the weathering done at this stage. Um, what I used, I used some uh, oils, some uh, white spirit, cheap white spirit. I always use the cheap old white spirit; it works wonders. Um, as long as you give glass coat your, uh, your your main work done, you know, get the base painting done uh, before you do the weathering, then glass coat that. Leave the glass coat dry. Do over, just over twenty four hours will do. Will do grand, and then you can start working away then on the uh, on the weathering. Um, I make down my washes with white spirit and oil paints. Uh, you can make them as thick or as thin as you want. It's up to you. Rather than buying, say, a product that was, uh, you know, they're pre-made, they're they're set at that. So if you want it lighter, you got to kind of lighten it off. So basically, you're back down to making your own again. Um, thing I find about uh, when you make your own, you get you, it, it's much more value for money, much much better value for money. Should I say that more value for your money, better value for your money, and uh, you can end up with, you know close enough to the, to the same quality. I'm not going to say that you've got exactly the same quality because you know that would be uh, probably a bit of a mistruth but you can get close enough and uh, close enough is good enough for me and it's good enough for most uh, hobby modelers okay like I said we're not professionals I'm not a professional I don't go into competitions or anything like that but it works for me and I'm happy with the result that I get which is the main thing okay so let's have a close look at this uh, all nicely weathered up Right, um, there's our, uh, our insides of it. Okay, I gotta do a bit more blending now there and those. I just have to add in some uh, some lighter colours in there just to, to blend that up a bit. Um, I've done that side and that side. You can see the little blobs of uh, of the lighter colour in there. Okay, so I just want to kind of blend them through a bit and all that to blend them through. It's as easy as this, and I, I left it there just to show you. All right now, I put those blobs on last night, okay. And the reason I did it and left it overnight is just to show you that it's still workable, even sort of uh, well after the uh, after the, the you know, if you if you sort of miss a piece or whatever, you can always go back to it and you can always play around with it, right? So a little bit of tissue and a flat brush. I like to use the flat brushes, right? So, a little bit of white spirit. I usually just sort of stick it into the cap. Works wonders, right? Just a little bit of white spirit, right? Wet your brush and just dab it off a bit of tissue. Just want to get the most of it off. You don't want to get all of it off, but you want to get a fair old back, back of it off, right? Now, if you look here at the... Um, oh, I'll get the light in there. Now you can see here these little uh, brighter yellow spots, right? Okay, and that'll blend them through. And like I said, those spots were put on last night. Now, just want, what, you, what, what you want to do is kind of wet them through. Just so you can't really see them as, as as sort of individual dots and things. Right. Then just all adds to the colour variations down in there for the mud and the gunk and God knows what else that will get sprayed up in there. Right. Now if your brush gets a bit uh, too much paint on it. You look like you're kind of lifting some of the paint off it. Back in, clean off your brush, and then another little bit of uh, white spirit. And there you go, that's nicely sort of Blended through. Okay. And there we go. 
right and now we get a close up look at that now it is quite shiny and, and thing at the moment but remember we're going to we're going to dull coat everything okay but all the little parts stick out and stick out nice <coughs> So just clean off the box again. No, put that away so I don't uh, spill it because I'm freaking liable to do that and I'm liable to do freaking anything. Anything stupid. Right, so your overall effect then you'll end up with something similar to that. Right. Get it in a bit close. As you can see that all our you know all our colours have nicely blended in. Um a bit too much of a shine there and that now. See so bits of pin wash there on all the uh, all the little nuts and bolts and things, and again they can be all cleaned off with a bit of um, a bit of white spirit on a clean brush. If it's a bit too much and things, you can see there on some of those some of these nuts these bolts back here. It's just a little bit too heavy, right? So same thing again. But this time you use a smaller brush, right? But basically the same idea. That's a, a damaged brush. It's the brush I use for putting on the stuff. Right? Oops, it is, you know. No, we, 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 we get it into back into focus again. You know, so the camera isn't the best for focusing in. It takes a few fake minutes. One of the reasons I put up um, a GoFundMe thing for this channel, just to kind of improve the quality of the uh, of the videos. Um, like I said, I'm just using a, a life. Was it a Microsoft Live Cam, which is basically uh, it's just one for sort of video calls and that kind of thing, where quality, where, where sort of image quality doesn't really count for too much. You're not really bothered too much about the uh, the quality, but when it comes to stuff like this, you want to, I, I do want a better quality. I'd like it, you know, to be able to show you what I'm doing and. Uh, Start focusing in better. Come on, to thick. Come on. This is the frustrating thing about it. Like, this is why I want to kind of improve it. But you can see there from from one to not just here that I did. Right, just clean off a lot of the uh, the excess around it. Right, you don't want more. You don't want to, to remove it all, but you want to remove some of the uh, a little bit too much. So we go back into it there again. Just so you just want to kind of blend it all in without making it look too to look too stark, too unnatural. You want it to look natural. You want it to kind of look uh, look just right. Okay. So it's all just sort of quick touch up here and there, and stand back, look at it, and see how it's turning out for you. Okay. Now I didn't go for rust streaking at all on this one. No rust streaking whatsoever. I just went for pure sort of a uh, bit of dot filtering using white. Um, what was this? What, what colours did I use? I used white and uh, yellow ochre and a little bit of burnt sienna. Okay, and for the washes, okay, first of all, I gave it a brown wash, and for the brown wash, I used um, burnt umber. Right, and then let that sort of let it dry to a certain degree, as in you know, let the um, let the white spirit evaporate away, and then I just use ivory black. Okay, ivory black, and I made down another wash then, 
and that was the washed in that I used for um, you know going into all the, uh, the, the, the the panel grooves around the bases of uh, panels and things and for my little uh, my nuts and bolts and all that kind of thing just to make them sort of stand out a little bit better so there she is anyway that's ready now for uh, for, for, for the final assembly really no but I actually beg your pardon I want to give that a dull coat first um, purely because I want to get in there and get that back dull again I don't want it shiny okay I want it nice and dull uh, so it's all kind of dried in mud and believe me that that, that effect will be there and we'll see that right so that's the main body of the vehicle right I did practically the same thing here then here on the shores and plates right okay same idea again and when you're using your your dots and things like that make sure you sort of a nice good flat brush like I had there a minute ago my flat brush and sort of downward streaks okay all downward streaks now if I want to do a bit of say a uh, rust streaking on that what I do is just put little drops of uh, whatever color you want for your rust along the top and the, or, you, or even say on the nut itself you know just say like I want a little bit of rust streaking down from the nut put your little drop on a little drop of paint the same thing again then uh, moisten your brush with uh, the white spirit get most of it off and then drag it downwards you know or the direction of the gravity because gravity pulls out pulls everything down as we all know so the, old, so the stomach gets affected by gravity and it sort of starts to sagging get big and Christmas time then you start feeding the living daylights out of yourself so you get the old belly the old tum tum and that starts to drag <laughs> gravity takes over so uh, also did something very very similar then I didn't use the dot filtering but I used the washes on my wheels can okay, we get a close up and see how they turned out? Give them a bit more light. A bit too much light. There we go. There's the wheels. Okay. As you can see, with a combination of all the little uh, little bits and pieces, the different techniques they used, sort of with the um, with the chipping and all that. I get a better view of that now, actually. Okay, as you can see, it is kind of shiny a bit, but uh, with the effects of all the chipping and all that, and once that's done, just down, then that will be lovely all together. Absolutely gorgeous, very, very pretty indeed. So she looked nice, you know, well used, not so much abused, but definitely well used anyway. Okay. So, that's my quick little update. My next step now for that, like I said, is to give it a dull coat. Leave it dry for... Do you mean, I use the uh, Tamiya dull coat, so that'll be dry in, a, in, in an hour. You can kind of play with it within an hour. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to reassemble everything up again then. Forgot to show you the tracks. Um, I'm, I'm after finishing off the tracks. I'm after giving them their wash and their dry brushings. All right, I had them inside out there. Okay, so here's my tracks. Okay, and on the inside. Now they're the rubber they are the uh, rubber band tracks. They're quite nice. Um, when they started off they were the horrible, horrible feckin' silvery plastic. Really, really shall I would even go as far as to say nasty looking. But uh, there they are, they're all finished off and I'm really happy with how that all came out. Okay. Again, I had it inside out because I was doing the, the insides of them. But there you can see, yeah, uh, you can see it might be a little bit too bright really to see the uh, the dry brushing on it. Right. So what I did was I dry brushed them with the silver first and then gave them the washes. By giving them the washes then, what it does is it kind of tones down the dry, br the dry brushing a bit. You don't want it too silvery, you don't want it sort of a uh, real shiny kind of silver, but you want it get that metallic look 
Um, also when you're doing your dry brushing then you can get the, uh, the guide horns all nice and uh, and shiny-ish as well, right? So, the tracks, they can go on then when I sort of reassemble everything else then. And when everything then is assembled, you can, it'll be a case of, what do you, what do you call it, a little bit of a tidy up, okay? Where you can kind of go over everything, make sure that uh, you have it the way you want it, and then, then she's finished, okay? So, that's it for this, uh, this little um, update. Um, don't forget to join me hopefully maybe not tomorrow night but maybe the night after I will have the final uh, reveal up on this should be goodness work. like I said I mean the, the, the final uh, the final little put together and finishing off on it so uh, hopefully it'll be uh, all nice and finished up I'll even put some um, some pictures some still photographs of it up on the YouTube on the uh, Facebook page so don't forget go over to the Facebook page and uh, sign up for that that's JMSM on the Facebook page link will be in the description box below and uh, you can kind of post your own bills on that and make comments and things like that be nice when you're putting giving comments um, I must admit because you will be kicked off otherwise <laughs> simple as that and we don't want people to be nasty we want sort of a bit of encouragement because remember the main thing about this channel is that we're all we're all either beginners or we're old fogies and we're hobbyists and we do it for ourselves and you know what, what we're happy with if I ask if people ask you for hints and tips then by all means give your hints and tips but uh, you know even even when you do give hints and tips just be nice be nice we're not all at sort of uh, expert level and of course again like I said if you want to help out the channel and help me improve the quality of the videos and things I did set up a GoFundMe uh, link will be it's on the um, the JMSM Facebook page and uh, all donations gratefully gratefully accepted and uh, you know hopefully within time I can sort of uh, improve the quality basically Re replace the camera with something something freaking decent rather than uh, um, uh, the camera that I have uh, nothing wrong with the camera that I have um, but uh, when it comes to the quality you can see it, what I'm doing for actual colours and just better quality I, I'd like it to be a, a little bit better well a lot better actually and the uh, sort of the autofocus is a bit a uh, bit slow so anyway lads uh, thank you very much for taking your time out to watch this video don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and uh, don't forget to hit the bell and you'll be notified as soon as I upload another video so I'll see you in the next one lads take care